I'm Derek Essery. And I'm Brittany Walker. And together, we sell real estate. Happy November, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about what the real estate market did in October of this year in the Morgan Hill, Gilroy, and San Martin area. First up, we're going to talk about that average sale price. And we saw an average price of $1,410,000 last month. That's up almost 7% from previous months. Now, the sales price to list price ratio shows that homes are closing right over asking in the month of October. And Brittany, based on what you and I have been seeing in the last couple months, what's your thoughts on that statistic right now? Does it seem realistic to what we're actually seeing on our side of things? Or is that maybe being skewed a bit just from, you know, previous month's sales finally closing? I think that the mantra is always true that if you price a property correctly, right from the onset of going active on the market, you have a much higher likelihood of getting that asking price. And I think that's really coming true, especially as we get into Q4 of this year. I would say that we're getting into the holidays. It's going to be a quieter time. Historically, you have to price homes more competitively as we get into the tail end of the year. So we had a pretty strong September, a stronger October than I think that we were anticipating, but it'll get quieter as we get into that November, December, and the holidays start to come. Yeah, no, it should be interesting. And now when we look at the number of homes that actually sold in October, there was 72 homes between Morgan Hill, Gilroy, and San Martin, which is up about 7%. But when you're looking at our population, that's still not a huge number. And so, okay, Derek, crystal ball. What do you think we're going to see in November for a number of properties sold? Do you think it'll be up? Do you think it'll be down? What do you expect? My prediction right now is that we're probably going to see less sales in November. Um, truly, what I feel we saw is September and October, it does seem like there was more homes hitting the market. I think people may not have been pricing these as competitively as they could have, which I think is going to affect how many of those actually sell and what we see close for November. Um, so it should be interesting. I completely agree. And this was a really interesting statistic. So the average days on market actually dropped 19% in the month of October to only 24 days on market. So again, we had a much more competitive October than I think that we are anticipating. And so I feel like that's when the shift started to happen. Sellers were beginning to price their homes more competitively, which means that they were turning over quicker, getting into contract much faster. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like when we talk about average days on market lately, we got to remind people that sometimes this can kind of be an artificial number because if a home has been priced appropriately and marketed well, a lot of times in our market, we'll see what's called an offer due date where a listing agent and the sellers decide what day they're actually going to review offers. I tend to find that's between 17 and, uh, excuse me, seven and 14 days of going on the market. So again, that average of 24 days can kind of depend on what the seller's strategy was. Um, it could have possibly sold quicker, but they wanted to make sure there was actually enough time for people to see it and, you know, review all offers at once. Um, and I think last thing that we're going to talk about that we saw for October is the number of new listings that hit the market. And in October, we had 67 new listings come on the market, which is actually down about 25%. But I think as we get to really October through January or even December, we tend to see the number of new listings start to reduce as people hold off because they don't want their homes on the market for the holidays. Um, one thing I always like to remind my sellers about when we're thinking about, hey, what's that perfect time is if you're able to have your home on the market during that time, one competitive advantage that you might have is having less homes on the market that other people will go look at. So you may stand out a little bit more than you do maybe in April, May, when everyone else is putting their home on the market. But obviously the downside is your home's going to be available for showings, maybe open houses during the holidays. No, I couldn't agree more. 
And I think that right now we're seeing that, again, homes that are priced really competitively, that have that strategic plan for when they're going on the market, how they're presented on the market, we're still seeing that everything is turning over rather quickly. So it'll be interesting as we continue to look at our crystal ball to see how the rest of this year plays out. So of course, this is super hyper local information. So for any of you who'd like to see what properties are doing and what the market's looking like in your specific neighborhood, please give us a call, reach out.